Alright, here we go. This is gonna be case five. I believe this is the last case. Let's do it. Investigators desperate to fix Finn's favorite record. Yeah, you got that right. Ah, <laughs> it's like a Beatles reference. Marceline, we've got another musical problem and we need your help. Oh no, Magic Man's not gonna make us dance again, is he? Cause that got old really fast. No, it's way worse. Bimo wrecked my favorite record. He sanded off all the grooves and now it won't play. <laughs> is that all? That's no problem, you can fix that. You just have to get your groove back, so to speak. How do I do that? Well, it's not easy, but I can help. First, you're gonna have to get your hands on some pretty rare equipment. Here's a list of what you need. The epic microphone of crooning? Is that some kind of special microphone? Yes, it's charged with powerful magical energy. It senses the emotions of whoever's making the recording and transforms the performance into whatever epic music you can imagine. Cables of insulation? You mean we need special cables to make this work? To make a perfect recreation of Finn's record, we'll be using a lot of magic. A normal cable would just melt. Cables of insulation are magically insulated so that spell energy and music can flow through them together without everything going up in smoke. A reel-to-reel -reel recorder? Can't we just use the cassette recorder we normally use when we jam out? Not reel-to-reel, reel-to-reel. -reel. It's a rare magical tape recorder. It magically mixes any musical sound into an exact copy of whatever song you're trying to make. No matter what the real music sounds like, the recording is always perfect. With a little work, I can rig it to record the music on a record. I guess it's shopping time! Where can we get all this stuff? Well, it's all magic, so you'll have to go to Wizard City. Marceline, we can't go to Wizard City. They won't let us in like last time. Bimo used that ultimate wizard disc thingy to rebuild our record player. Yeah, the wizard police would just turn us into sticks. Don't worry, I got you covered. Forest Wizard owed me a favor. He never gave me back the potion distiller I lent him. To apologize, he gave me some day pass charms for Wizard City. I'll cast two on you before you leave. Word. Thanks, Marceline. Oh, word. No problem. Once you get all the stuff, come back to me and I'll tell you what we need to do next. Hey, wizards only f Oh, sorry. I see your day pass enchantments are in order. Move along, have a nice day. Cool, thanks, man. It's that wizard payphone that we used to order the pizza that other time. A broom. The people who clean Wizard City sure leave behind a lot of stuff. Sure, I guess a broom could come in handy at some point. Doink. Snail. You ever get the feeling there's more to these snails than meets the eye? The vending machine's still broken from last time, but somebody left a wizard coin in the coin return. Stoink. Yeah, I'll just take that coin. Finders keepers. The wizard's broom. Is it just me, or is it weird that a broom shop has a crowbar on the sign? You've got a crowbar, and the sign makes sense now. Win-win. <laughs> Wonder if that's the recorder thing Marceline was talking about. Sup, Bufo? What you doing? Selling stuff? 
Of course I am! What does it look like? I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm under a lot of stress. Please, take a look around and let me know if you have any questions. So, looks like some kind of tape recorder there. Better than that, it's a rare reel-to-reel -reel recorder. Best magic recorder there is. Works like it was brand new. It's yours for the low, low price of 50 wizard coins. What? Finn, that's just what we need. But there's no way we can afford that. What about that charger-looking thing? What's the story on that? That is a state-of-the-dark arts magical item charger. You can recharge wands, magic swords, anything that runs on magic. It's a fixer-upper, so I could probably let it go for a mere 30 wizard coins. It's kind of pricey for a piece of junk that doesn't work. How about magical cables? Got any of those? Sorry, afraid not. We're in the market for a special microphone. The epic microphone of crooning. Do you have one? Oh, I'm sorry. I did have one, but I sold it to Ron James earlier today. You snooze, you lose. Yeah, so we're interested in your stuff, but we're sort of, kind of, um... Broke. We're pretty much doshed out. I see. Well, I'm always willing to negotiate a fair price, but I can't come down too much. We all need money. Yeah, about that. Why does a super powerful wizard like you need to sell junk for extra scratch? I lost my secret society pendant. Until I can afford to replace it, I am banished from the secret society of wizards. Man, that stinks. Well, if we come up with some money or something, Jake and me would be happy to help you out and buy your stuff. Okay, but the merchandise is moving fast. You better act quickly. Oh, who am I kidding? I'll be here whenever you come back. <laughs> I want to take the crowbar to his face. I missed an achievement earlier on the first case. I want to use that phone and make 10 phone calls, but... Man, I just hope there's not a body in there. Whew! No body inside. Just a battery. This is weird, but comforting. It's a battery for... something. Hope it's not a dead battery. Could be because, you know, it's in a coffin. Some cables here. Hmm. Marceline said we needed a special cable for a recording. All I found is an old battery cable. Oh well, I'll take it anyway. I bet this cable will work great for our recording. Funny the amount of useful stuff we found laying around lately. Welcome back, brothers. What kind of magic biz y'all's up to today? We're making a record, and our friend Marceline said that we need some magical recording equipment. You sell that stuff? Magical tunes. Nice. What do you need? We have a list. Marceline said that we need a special magical tape recorder. Do you have one of those? A reel-to-reel -reel recorder? No, man. I don't carry those. They're really, really rare. But there's got to be one or two floating around somewhere in town. There are a lot of wizards that are way into awesome audio. How about a magic microphone? You have one of those? You're in luck. I just picked up a really sweet one. The epic microphone of crooning. It's top of the line in magic microphones. Dude, that's the one Marceline said we need. We got to get that. Bummer is it's lost its magical charge. I couldn't in good conscience sell you an uncharged magic microphone. Well, that kind of works out because we probably don't have enough money to buy one at the moment. Marceline said we need some kind of special cable to hook everything up. Got any of that? Nah, that specialized magic audio cable is way too expensive, brah. 
truth? Any heavily insulated magical cable can be used instead of actual cable of insulation. That kind of cable is just laying around in Wizard City all over the place. Looks like all I've got that you need is the microphone. And like I said, it ain't charged. And like you said, you don't have enough money to buy it anyway. Oh man, we really need that microphone. Can we make some kind of deal? Hmm. Well, an uncharged microphone ain't gonna sell anyway. And getting it recharged is a problem. Magic Mike's charge shop got raided by the wizard Popo yesterday and all his stuff got seized. Yes. I'd ask him to help me out anyway, but you know, he's a stick now. Yeah, that happens a lot around here. If I had a magical charger, I could start offering charging services. I'd be the only one in town doing it. We're talking some major wizard coin. Tell you what. If you guys can find me a working magical charger, the epic microphone of crooning, it's yours. I'd even throw in a free charge. What do you say? I say we're gonna go out and find you a magical charger. Thanks, Ron James. We'll see you soon. Happy to help. Feel free to browse. I might not have everything you need, but I always encourage impulse buying. One wizard coin, huh? Not much you can buy in here for that. Oh, hey, you can have that pendant over there. I don't know what it is. I found it after somebody broke into the shop a few days back. Somebody must have dropped it. You've made a wise purchase, I guess. I wonder if this pendant is like the one Bufo was saving for. Hey, what's up, Sonny? Oh, hey. Good to see you guys again. You guys are wizards? Nah, we got a day pass spell from our friend Marsley. You buy anything good from Ron James? Nah, I haven't really found anything interesting. You? We're just shopping for recording equipment. Magical recording equipment. Oh, well, good luck with that. See you guys later. So, think we could do a trade for this? What the? My secret society pendant! You found it! So, can we maybe trade the pendant for... Take it! Take all of this junk! It's yours! I've gotta go! Guys! Guys! I have my pendant! Don't start the next meeting without me! Man, that is one happy wizard. Yeah, and he gave us stuff! Yeah! Yeah! Mathematical. <laughs> Looks like the charger needs to have a battery connected to it. Let's get it working and take it back to Ron James's shop. That battery definitely fits, but we need to plug it into the charger somehow. There, the magical charger thing is as good as new. The only thing better than cool stuff is free cool stuff! He was gonna sell that to me for 50 wizard coins, and it only cost me, actually 80, it only cost me one. found a working magical charger. Powerful one too, yo. It charged the epic microphone of crooning. Here's your microphone, all charged and ready to go. Thanks, guys. Epic microphone of crooning, reel-to-reel -reel recorder, and some super insulated magic cable. I think we got everything we need, Jake. Booyah. We'll get that record of yours fixed in no time. 
Let's take everything back to Marceline's house and find out what we have to do next. Boom. Well, that'll be part one. All right, Marceline. We got all the magic recording equipment you asked for. Are we ready to start fixing my record now? <laughs> no, silly. We've still got a long way to go. We've got the hardware we need, but we still need to put together a band to jam out and make the music. We don't know any bands. Not any good ones, anyway. That's one of the reasons we're using magical recording equipment, Jake. It makes anything sound good. There are plenty of crappy bands out there who only avoid sounding like total butt through the magic of awesome recording equipment. Okay. Who should we get to be in the band? Well, I'll play bass, of course, because I'm awesome at it. We just need to figure out what other sounds we need and which four people we're going to recruit. Well, we're definitely going to need drums. Totally. That should be easy. Simon is a wicked good drummer, plus he has his own drum kit. That will be easy. Ice King always wants to do stuff with Jake and me. Yeah, but remember, last time we saw him, we kind of put him in a super depressed mood. Kind of on purpose. Well, I guess you guys will have to find a way to deal with that before you can get him to join. We're gonna need some high-end sound. You know, as a counterpoint to your tasty bass licks. Yeah, definitely. Hmm. How about Lemon Grab? That what? sword thing of his makes a sound that is about as high-end as you can get. It's not really an instrument, but I think it'll work. Lemon Grab doesn't play well with others, even in the best times. Which these are not. Last time we were at his castle, there was, uh, an incident. Several, if we're being honest. You need to find some way to get him to agree to join us, guys. I just know that sword sound is perfect for the mix. Ah, <sighs> we'll do what we can. Okay, what's next on the list? Whoa, 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 slow down, Finn. You've already got your work cut out for you. Why don't you go ahead and recruit Simon and Lemon Grab for now? When you're done, come back here and we'll figure out who's next. Sounds like a plan. Come on, Jake. First stop, the Ice Kingdom. Um, hey, Ice King. What's up? Oh, hey, guys. Look, uh, we just want to apologize. Apologize? Why? You weren't the ones who wrecked my crib. That was Lumpy Space Princess. Huh? Oh, the mess. We thought you might still be depressed because of the whole princess dumping you and us messing with you about it thing. You're gonna have to be more specific, Jake. That princess dumping me, people making fun of me stuff is kind of an everyday thing for me. Kind of all runs together after a while. Oh, well, um, moving on then. All right, well, that'll be the end of part one of chap or case five. So I hope you guys enjoy, and we'll be right back for uh, part two. We'll see you.